Welcome everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Forever Lock Challenge here with Pokemon Silver version! I hope that everyone is doing well today. Hey there, Kana-chan! Lovely to see you! Pingu, of course! Lovely to see you, lovely to see you. Um, good to see everybody. Um, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna come right out the gate and say that I'm a little bit nervous because I have, I have tweaked a lot of my settings uh, for a lot of things that I don't really understand super well. But uh, they are things that I was, I have heard through the grapevine could hopefully improve a little bit of my stream quality. Um, so I'm really, really hoping that uh, everything looks and sounds and is okay. <laughs> the audio should be just about the way that it usually is, which is to say not fantastic because I'm using kind of a crappy headset. But um, that being said, I hope that the visuals look maybe a a micron better than they usually do <laughs> i'm streaming at 1080p this time so that's good at least uh hopefully i don't sound like weird for some reason that would be really lame but um yeah i hope that uh i hope that everyone is uh is doing good today and we're gonna try and jump in uh pingu's telling me that things look amazing that's good that's good i'm glad i'm glad that it looks okay because uh, I was, yeah, I was a little nervous about that. I was a little nervous about that. I, I would appreciate any feedback. Oh, I literally looped all the way back around. Oops. Um, I would appreciate any feedback that you guys uh, want to give me uh, as we're as we're moving along here. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, hey, Star Champ. Um, sorry, you just got here, so I guess I'm just gonna repeat myself really, really quickly. Um, I've tweaked some of my uh, I've tweaked some of my uh, visual audio or, or not visual <laughs> visual audio. Lol. I've I've tweaked some of my visuals um, to hopefully try and make the stream look a little bit better. Um, I'm going to be relying on especially especially my mods to be looking out for uh, if there's anything weird going on with my visuals. Because um, I'm just kind of testing that sort of thing. So if you wouldn't mind just like letting me know, Star Champ, if anything looks weird or sounds weird or, or, or anything of that nature, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, Star Champ. But in any case, uh, let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's jump into... <laughs> indeed, Pingu. Uh, let's jump into some Pokemon Silver, shall we? Um, so yeah, of course, we do already have our, our game is already good and ready to go. And here we are. Unfortunately, I'm a boy again. Blech. Blech. Do I get an item? I don't remember. I can never remember if there is one. Nope, not in Gen 2. <laughs> Feels bad. Oh well. Um, alright, let's go. Alright, and yeah, so this, uh, this playthrough is going to be very similar to our previous playthrough in that I'm going to kind of be trying to blast through it pretty damn quick. Um, so, uh, that is, that is the name of the game. Uh, try and, I want to try and blast through Gen 2 about as quickly as we ba blasted through Gen 1, which is to say it took five streams. Oh, no, not, not, not Sunday. Today is, what, what is today? Today's Tuesday, right? Uh, hold on. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's Tuesday. Okay, cool. Tuesday. Is it daily savings? Yes, it is, actually. So there we go. Uh, I did go ahead and make it the opposite of the time that it's supposed to be. Um, so that is, uh, something to keep in mind as well. I just felt like playing at night for this playthrough. <laughs> uh, there is one, at least one Pokemon I want to catch as well, so I figured that that would be, I would, that would be good. And it's a nighttime exclusive, so. Oh no, it's not, you're not black at all, Pingo. It's just that I don't want to play as a boy, you know what I mean? You want to play, you, you want to play as, as the, the, the gender that you identify as, typically, so. Um, yeah, no, I, I just would prefer to play as a girl. <laughs> I think I, I think I told you guys before, I, I found a mod that would have actually let me just play as Chris in Gold and Silver, but unfortunately the mod made it so that PK Hex didn't function with uh didn't function with my uh with my game saves, so that's super lame. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so Professor Elm is uh yeah we're going on Aaron for Mr. Poke or to Mr. Pokemon's house. So you guys know the know the whole song and dance. He's gonna give us a Pokemon partner. So, um, <laughs> it was actually really funny. I, I I woke up this morning and I I went to check out the um 
the, uh, the, the, the poll for the starter, which we did in the Discord. For those of you who have not joined the Discord or who don't actively follow the Discord, um, we do polls in the Discord all the time, so keep your eyes open and, and, and check out the Discord if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, so I looked at the, I looked at these polls and it was uh, it was absolutely no no competition. <laughs> it was absolutely no competition on who we're going to be using. Yes, it is indeed. It is indeed going to be the Cyndaquil. Um, it was an absolute landslide, landslide victory for Cyndaquil. And on top of that, it's um, <laughs> it was like a lot of people voted compared to usual. Um, I, it was just, it was just like all Cyndaquil, and it was like like eight people. <laughs> it's just like damn, everyone wanted Cyndaquil. So that's what we're doing. I'm open to the nickname suggestions, Pingu. Um, I'm not gonna promise that, that I'll pick, that I'll go with what you suggest, but I'm definitely open to suggestions. Um, but yeah, uh, it's gonna be our Typhlosion. Uh, unfortunately, both of my Typhlosion names have been have been erased at this point. I do not have access to them anymore because they died. Um, so yeah, we're gonna need a new one. There we go. We grab ourselves the Cyndaquil. I'm gonna go ahead and slap that on the layout real quick. Cyndaquil. Into slot one. Oh, boom. There we go. Beautiful. Give a nickname to Cyndaquil, of course. Uh, so yeah, we have the male Cyndaquil, the the standard standard male Cyndaquil. So yeah, what are we what are we calling our little our little baby friend here? It, and yeah, I, like I said, it is gonna go ahead and be the um the full on Typhlosion. Uh, no no fancy bells or whistles on this one. Just the uh just the Typhlosion. <laughs> um. Ooh, Starchant suggests Clark. <laughs> John. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a pretty simple little name. That is pretty simple. I, admittedly, it is it is kind of charming just to, to go with like simple names like Clark or John. <laughs> uh, oh, hey there, Voidex Cars. Um, uh, Voidex Cars says hello there. Uh, there was uh, some trouble, right? Yeah, I was um, I, I was fiddling with some of my settings. Um, yeah, stream started and then like ended and then came back. <laughs> uh, so uh, I apologize for that uh, this morning. Um, but I think we're good now. I think we're good. I think I ha addressed the, the singular issue that I ran into and got it all fixed up. So we are in good shape now. Uh, but yeah, welcome, Void X Cars. Lovely to see you. Uh, Pinka suggests uh, Qu Quilton. Uh, Quint Quintuple. Qu Ooh, Quentin. Quentin's pretty good. Um, hmm. For Typhlosion, huh? <laughs> Don't be mad, Pingu. But I actually think I kind of like Clark. <laughs> I don't have a Clark, right? Uh, here, let me check. No, we do not have a Clark. <laughs> I have a, I had a Tyler already, Pingu. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm going to go with Clark. We, we'll, we'll make sure we get a, a nice little Pingu name in there uh, very soon, though. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Um, Clark is Clark is speaking to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but, yeah, so we're, we're going to go Clark. Clark. Ba-boom. There we go. Kind of like it. it. It just seems like a nice. It's. I mean, it's like Superman's first name, and I don't know. Ty Typhlosion kind of gives me like big, powerful Superman vibes. So I don't know. I don't know. It works. It works. So yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. Very good. Yeah. How uh, how's uh, how's everyone uh, doing today? Hopefully, hopefully we're all doing well. Uh, Star Starship says, uh, cause Typhlosion's quills always look like Superman's cape. It, it does a little bit. Yeah, no, I can, I can see it. I, I, that's what I say. I see, you said a Clark at the start and I was like, mm, that, that actually sounds really good. I actually, uh, am a fan of that. I, I for whatever reason, I, I enjoy a certain, certain, like, uh, simple, simple naming scheme sometimes. You know what I mean? I, I'm, it's like a mood that strikes me where I'm just like, you know what? Let's just, I just want to call you just a, just a normal name and just, and just roll with it. Flo would have been cool. Honestly, if we'd had a girl one, I would have loved that, Pingu. Uh, I would have named to have loved it, or loved to have named a female female Typhlosion Flo with the PH. That that's cute. Uh, okay, so yeah, we are off and running. Uh, we of course have to do our infamous um, infamous uh, start of the game. Uh, go do the po Mr. Pokemon thing and then come back. Is that shiny? I'm not crazy, right? I, I sped through it because I was going to just speed through it. That's shiny. I don't have Pokeballs. That's shiny. Excuse me? Did we just run into a shiny before I have Pokeballs? I actually need a Hoot Hoot. <laughs> 
<laughs> You've got to be joking. That, that, that's not shiny. I'm looking at it wrong, right? I'm looking at it wrong, right? No, that's not shiny. That's not a shiny hoot hoot. Hold on. Let me pull up shiny hoot hoot. Shiny hoot hoot. Gen 2. Oh my god, it is a shiny. It is a shiny hoot hoot. <laughs> So dumb! <laughs> oh my god, we ran into a shiny hoot hoot that we could have actually caught, but I don't have any freaking Pokeballs. The second, the second encounter, or the second wild Pokemon that we saw in the entire game was a shiny hoot hoot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, thank you for clipping that, uh, Pingu. That's a good clip. That's a good clip. <laughs> uh good gravy. Alright, well... Bye! Oh my god. That is absurd. Could, that, that is, that is, yeah, we could, yeah, that would have been a good name. No, that, that is absurd. I cannot actually, I've, I've actually, believe it or not, I have never had that happen to me before. I've never had it happen where I, I ran into a shiny when I, like, just didn't have Pokeballs. I've had it where, like, I could have had Pokeballs and I just didn't have any at the moment. But, like, are you, yeah, see, look at that. There's the regular Hoot Hoot. That's absurd. That's, like, actually absurd. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how to feel about that. That's like, um, wow. Wow, I oh, I can't even mentally process that. <laughs> Let's grab a map real fast. We'll zoom through this real fast. We know how this goes by this point. Cool, thanks for the map. <laughs> oh man. That's, I, yo, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, technically, we, uh, this would be where we'd be able to add Pokemon from our previous, um, previous playthroughs to the team. Um, hilariously enough, <laughs> uh, we actually don't have a single Pokemon that is under the level of the highest level Pokemon on the next upcoming Gym Leaders team, which is typically how it goes. Um, Faulkner's Ace is level 9, which is atrocious. Uh, atrociously low. Um, so we actually won't be able to add anything to the squad until we're able to get Syndical to level 10. But I figured that we'd run through and do this Mr. Pokemon stuff first. Then we'll, we'll grind Cyndaquil up to level 10, and then we can add, um, then we can add, uh, add team members. Oh, we don't have, we don't have Pokeballs yet, Pingu. We won't be able to get Pokeballs until we get all the way back to Professor Elm's lab after the fact, so. Yep, not a, not a thing at the moment. I can't believe we ran into a shiny Hoot Hoot, like, in the first five, like, ten, what is it, like, the first, yeah, first, like, fifteen minutes. In the first fifteen minutes of the game, we ran into a shiny Hoot Hoot. <laughs> that was very silly. I'll let you name the hoot hoot pingo. I promise. <laughs> you can you can name the hoot hoot whatever you want. Start 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 uh, coming up with whatever uh, whatever fun name you wanna you wanna give a hoot hoot, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll catch it. Uh, I don't know what that means, uh, Voidak. Well, what is what what is uh, <laughs> what is what is that? <laughs> no, come on, pingo. <laughs> I was like, do they do they even have those where you live? The, those restaurants? Or do you just know of them? I suppose they are relatively famous. Alright, we'll grab that Pokedex from you there, Professor Oak. I appreciate you. You guys seem to be dependable. Would you like to help me out? Yes, I will help you out if you just give me the Pokedex so that I can scurry. Thank you very much for the Pokedex. I appreciate you, Professor. All right, well, see you later. Oh, yeah, and then free heal. I'll take it, even though I don't think I actually took any damage. I keep, oh my god, I'm still reeling, you guys. I'm, like, actually still reeling. <laughs> Shiny hoot hoot. Oh my god. <laughs> I did, I wasn't sure at first, because I, um, I had zoomed past it with the speed up. But, um, yeah, no, sure enough, that was a freaking Shiny hoot hoot. Shiny hoot hoot. <laughs> What are the odds that we get a second shiny hoot hoot for our encounter once we have Pokeballs? <laughs> Probably not very high, huh? <laughs> I'm very confused. I'm very f confused, Voidek. I was gonna say, I don't know if this is like an inside joke that I'm just not aware of, but, um... I am not aware of it. 
I am not, uh, I am not the brightest fork of the knife drawer, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, here's our rival. Hello, Silver. Yeah, we're, we didn't, we didn't do the, um, the rival name selection thing again, so, um, uh, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of demand for it to begin with, and, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to, like, pre-set up the, the ROM when I also have to, like, make sure these name the right thing. Uh, granted, this one is actually fine, because you name it in-game. You know, like, you name it, like, during the, the course of a campaign, but, uh, that being said, um, yeah, we're, we'll, pro we'll probably just keep it simple for the rivals going forward, unless there's, like, this huge, huge demand for it. Okay. This, uh, this Totodile is actually kind of giving me the business here. Doesn't help that I missed a tackle. Which is, like, actually just kind of bad luck. Berry Pops. I was, yeah, I was waiting for it. <laughs> there we go. Now we're in good shape. I'm glad that they give you that berry in Gen 2. It's very, very nice. They took it away in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. I'm pretty sure, which is super lame. They could, they should have, they should have kept the Orin Berry. That would have been nice. All right, one more, Clark. There you go. There you go, my friend. Level six, Ahoy. Very good. Starting smoke screen, very nice. I see. <laughs> I see. I feel like I'm still missing some context for this Void X cars. I don't know why, but <laughs> interesting. Uh Sartin says, um Oh, is that what it was? Was it a, was it a Star Wars reference? I see. <laughs> I'm a, I, I like Star Wars well enough, but I'm not like a huge uh, fan. Not not like I, I like I said I like it well enough. I've seen like most of the older movies. I haven't seen any of the new ones, the Disney ones. But yeah, <laughs> Star Wars is fair. I think it'd be funny if you randomly chose the name of one of your regular audience, but not so funny. I'm 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 gonna ask. <laughs> Darth, Darth Plagius the Wise. Yeah. Okay. See, I see. It, it was that's why it went over my head. See, I'm not like I know Star Wars, but like only in like a smaller sense <laughs> uh yeah i i've seen i've seen all of the movies at least once except for the new ones so there's my re there's my star wars reference <laughs> i can't oh god i'm still mm. <laughs> i'm still reeling from the shiny hoot hoot i really am i really am the shiny hoot hoot that got away All right, let's talk to this guy. What? Uh, I guess, I, yeah, I think I'm just going to name him Silver. Just keep it simple. I could call him something silly, but we'll just call him Silver. There we go. Well, then I guess I got to talk to you now, huh? Big discovery. Mystery egg for you, which is uh, basically dead to us at this, like, even from the from the start, because I'm pretty sure we have the entire Togepi family, hilariously enough, so yeah, we have absolutely no interest in it. Alright, beautiful. So tell me what to do. Blitz, use these on your Pokedex quest. All right, there we go. There's the Pokeballs. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. So yeah, I do intend to catch a Hoot Hoot. Uh, although much like the blue, um, I, I do want to catch a Hoot Hoot just because like there's not really an option for it in Gen three, which is where I'm saving a lot of like my encounters for Gens one through three from. Um, but um, yeah, I I am just gonna catch a Hoot Hoot here because it just it's just easier. That probably will be like the only thing I catch in this playthrough though, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I don't really need a whole lot else, so... Did, was this, like, required? I, I don't... I didn't mean to let... It, I don't know if that was optional or not, but I didn't mean to. I forgot about this random dude who just teaches you things. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get ourselves a Hoot Hoot. Um, aside from that, though, yeah, we're, we're probably just gonna blast through this playthrough, much like we did with Blue, trying to, like, just win as the, as the end game there. We already have Rattata and Raticate, so we are good there. 
Show me the hoot hoot. Hey, that's not a shiny hoot hoot though. <laughs> it's not a shiny one. We have a female hoot hoot though, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let me let me chuck a ball at it. And it will actually auto join the team too, so this will be a Pokemon we actively use as well. Something to keep in mind. <laughs> but that that's okay. I do actually want the hoot hoot, so. Hoot hoot it is. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. We have a female hoot hoot. Um so yeah, uh what you got for us, Pingu? I know you said you wanted to name it, so. Pinky says, remember when Dapper Kirby bet uh, $3.99 on a Togepi exploding and killing the enemy mod and it actually happened? <laughs> he would have subbed, but it never happened. I know. It, it was tragic. It was truly tragic. I'm going to call it Newt Newt. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You got it. You got it, pal. All so there we go. Hoot Hoot joins the squad. Very nice. Very nice. On to the layout it goes. Hoot, hoot. In slot two. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so we are off and running. Um, let's, um... So, yeah, uh, the next thing that we need to do is I need to get a Pokemon up to level 10. <laughs> um, so we're actually going to do a pinch of grinding here. Uh, I, I've got Discord uh, muted at the moment. I'll, I'll take a peek at the t t take a peek after the fact, Pingu. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, in order, I have a bunch of Pokemon in the PC that we can auto add to the team, but um, I cannot do so <laughs> until I have something at level nine. So, or uh, rather, uh, something at level ten. The lowest level we have is level ten. <laughs> so that is uh, that is what we're gonna search for. I, I, I probably I probably will grind I probably will grind Newt Newt a little bit to be honest um, just because like it'll be it'll be a good idea frankly um, but I'm gonna grind Clark first so that we could just auto add the rest of the team and then uh, and then we'll move from there so uh, I actually will throw on the grinding banner here <laughs> yeah <laughs> a lovely little pair and that Clark and Newt Newt so it sounds like a sounds like a sitcom. <laughs> oh Clark. Oh Newt Newt. And then he goes Newt Newt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where the freak is my grinding banner? I always lose it. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah, now I can just jump into some speed up here, and we can just blast through until we get to level ten, and maybe run into another shiny hoot hoot. <laughs> I'm I'm still. Oh God. I'm just. Mm, I'm just. I can't get over that. I really can't. I am, uh, I am floored. I am floored that I, because like I said, I've never had that happen to me before. I've heard of people getting, like, the shiny Poochiena in, in, in Ruby and Sapphire, or, or the, uh, uh, you, you know, like, you know, like, uh, various, uh, the shiny Ralts, uh, in the, in the Wally fight or whatever, but I have never had, like, a situation like that come up where I just, like, ran to a shiny Pokemon but couldn't have possibly caught it, no matter what. Very unfortunate. Uh, oh, Liz has redeemed a, um... Or Lids. <laughs> Lids has redeemed. Pingu has redeemed a Lids Pokemon opinion. There we go. That's the one. Um, wants to know my opinion on Grovile. Grovile is awesome. It's uh, e easily my favorite of that evolutionary line. Um, Grovile is rad. Uh, yeah, he's, he's really cool. He's he's a, one of the few uh, middle stage Pokemon that does not at all suffer from like that middle stage syndrome. Um, you you probably heard of that, right? It's like the whole concept that like most of the middle stage Pokemon. Um, for the starters, you know, like see your like Ivy Sores or your or your uh, you know your your Cumbuskins or any of them. Um, a lot of them sort of suffer from this like they're not they're like this weird in between of like they're not really cute anymore, but they're also not really cool yet. <laughs> so like uh, Grovile is uh, actually an ex a huge exception to that though, because Grovile is like actively always cool. Like a lot of people even like Grovile more than Sceptile. So like yeah, no, Grovile is awesome. So I like it. That is to, to to answer the question at the end of the at the end of the day, Pingu. Uh, Grovile is rad. I really like him. <laughs> All right, Clark hits level eight. Two more levels, baby. Did 
if, by the way, if the uh, if the the music is too loud, I need to turn it down while I'm grinding because I can I can understand that how that might be grating on the ears. Do let me know. I will happily lower the volume if if need be. A level nine. There we go. One more. One more. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, Star Champ. <laughs> Uh, by the way, uh, Star Champ, has has the visuals been okay? Like, has everything been okay? Does it? For, I guess another question I do have for you as well, uh, Star Champ. Um, does does it look better than it usually does? I am curious. <laughs> like, is it noticeably better at all, or no? <laughs> I am curious about that. P uh, Pinky said that it looked pretty good, so that's 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 nice. Uh, Star says, uh, to be fair, the anime played a huge role in Grovile's love. I mean, that is true. But honestly, like, I didn't really even watch the Hoenn anime, and I still know Grovile's really cool. Um, granted, I did also get to play the, um, I, did, I got to play the Explorer's Mystery Dungeon game. So that that helps a lot. Grovile's the main character in that. But, um, even before that, though, like, I always thought Grovile looked, like, really cool. Like, he's, like, actually just designed to be really, really cool looking. I like him. All right, there we go. Level 10. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so, says, so answer to answer your first question, yeah, it looks good. No issues are tearing. Yay! <laughs> that's that's lovely. That's lovely. Um, ooh. Vo uh, Voidex Cars has a uh, redeemed question of the day suggestion. Awesome. So, um, yeah, this will be a future question of the day, so don't answer it yet. Uh, but wants to know what's your what uh, what move name is your favorite? Ooh, that's a cool that's a cool one, Voidex Cars. We've never I don't think we've ever done that one before. Uh, I love that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that'll be um, that'll be a, a future question of the day. Yeah, absolutely. That's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you for the suggestion. All right, cool. All right. With that squared away, I've got that like recorded now. Um, so yeah, let me um, let me head on over to the PC. Speaking, of, oh, um, I'm gonna turn the grinding banner off for a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, oh, uh, Sarkis says the second one. So it's uh, still Pokemon Silver. It can only look so good, but it does look smoother. That's good. That's good. The main the main thing that I did uh, to tweak my settings, I've been uh, <laughs> I've actually been streaming in 720p this entire time. Like since since the start, <laughs> and then it only just dawned on like I've I've always wondered why like the quality of my um my vods looks so like shitty. <laughs> I was like, why does it look so bad? Uh, I figured I just was like doing something wrong or whatever, and then I finally figured out what it was. I took some time to like actually do some research and just found out that I needed to just like kind of record like in a higher resolution. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, I, I did some did some tweaks and uh, now we're now we're streaming and ideally recording in a much, much higher resolution that should result in um, better quality viewing for all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so we are going to add some team members here. This is the wrong box. Hold on <laughs> to box one. Uh, but yeah, we have four full boxes, or not four full boxes, but we have um, three full boxes and a fourth with a little bit of Pokemon in it from our previous playthroughs, of course. And yeah, we will take a take a little gander here at who we've got going on here. Um, Vodex Cars, oh, Vodex Cars answers the question of the day. Um, today's question of the day was suggested um, by uh, our, our good friend, um, I think it was SBS, right? I, think I, I usually write it down, but I didn't write it down this time. Oops. <laughs> I think it was Secret Boss Sauce, though. Um, <clears throat> but, um, I have, oh god, my voice is just going, hold on, give me a second here, you guys. Okay, hopefully that's better. <laughs> my voice was just, like, going on me. Um, my apologies. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, question of the day is, uh, who's your favorite, like, box, uh, box mascot? Could be a legendary, but isn't always. Um, Voidex Cars has answered, um, Groudon or, uh, Necrozma Duskmane. Can't decide. Ooh, good choices. Good choice. I like Groudon. Between those two, I would choose Groudon. I'm not a huge fan of the Duskmane, Dawnwing, Necrozmas, so, um, probably wouldn't, wouldn't pick that one myself, but Groudon is awesome. I do appreciate that one. Uh, what is mine? Oh, God. Um... Oh, God. That's actually a really hard one for me. Um, I, I guess I, either, either Reshiram or, 
Reshiram or maybe um, Rayquaza, I guess. <laughs> It's a, it's a hard one. That's a hard one for me. I'll have to think more more about that to like give give a, like a really solid solid answer. Sergeant says I'm also probably watching on lower quality necessary. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Sergeant says I'll let SBS have the credit, especially since he's not here. <laughs> Ooh, very nice, very nice. Was it? Wait, was it? Does it, are you? Does that mean that it was actually you, Star Champ? <laughs> I apologize if it was you and I mixed it up. I usually write down who who suggested the question, but I for whatever reason did not do that this time. So, in any case, um. <clears throat> Ooh, uh, Star Champs also answers the question of the day. Eevee, small huckable floof friend. Yes, Eevee does in fact count as a as a box mascot now. That's very exciting. Um, but yeah, Eevee is a good choice. Uh, in any case, um, so we have a fully evolved Pokemon uh, in Typhlosion and a not fully evolved Pokemon in Hoot Hoot. So we are going to be adding two fully evolved Pokemon and uh, three. Er, sorry. Yeah, two fully evolved Pokemon and two not fully evolved Pokemon, and one of those has to be capable of evolving twice. Uh, so, we are going to be adding Nutty here is level 10, so Nutty can be added. Nutty actually carried over from our Gen 1 playthrough uh, in the last uh, the last uh, playthrough and got some dang good moves as a result. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add Executor, straight up level 10 Executor to the team, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Exeg-utor into slot three. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, we also have Paul. Paul, the um, the stinking uh, Heracross. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've used the we've used Heracross before a long time ago. I've never used one in Gen two, but uh, either way, we're gonna be adding a nice bug friend. I figure this will please Yumi whenever she she rolls around. Um, but yeah, we're gonna add a nice bug friend here with Paul. So welcome, Paul, and those will be those will be our fully evolved Pokemon: Typhlosion, Executor, and um, and uh, and and Heracross. So that'll be that'll be pretty nice. I apologize for the audio cutting out like it does. It does that every time I click out of the emulator, which is incredibly obnoxious. I'm looking into solutions for that. Um, okay, so Heracross into slot four, very nice. Uh, next up, uh, so we have some options here. So I, I knew that I was going to maybe catch the Hoot Hoot. There was always the possibility that I didn't catch it, so I didn't want to, like, I wanted to have a backup plan. But so here are our two options for the uh, Evolves Twice Pokemon. Uh, we have Connie, the Pineco, or Ab Abu, the Apom. Um, I'm honestly kind of leaning more towards Abu in this case, because, I mean, I know that Hoot Hoot's technically our normal type as well, but um, Apom is just way better than Pineco. <laughs> um... So yeah, I, I'm thinking one of the two. Then again, if we could do Connie, we could just get Connie out of the way. That's actually not a bad idea either. Uh, Sergeant says, what emulator do you use again? I use Visual Boy Advance. It's uh, it's the OG, the classic, the classic uh, Game Boy Advance emulator. I've, I've just been using it for so long. It's what I'm most familiar with and comfortable with. But um, in any case, um, yeah, it's going to be one of these two. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do, do you guys have any recommendations? Uh, it's either Apalm, Apalm or Pineco. One of the two. I'm actually leaning more towards Apalm, but like, mm, then again, like when I think about it, it's just like, we could get that, we could get the Pineco out of the way. Could get the Pineco out of the way. That would be nice. That would be very, very nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. I Like, it just, it makes sense in my head. It makes sense in my head to take the, take the Pineco. We're going to take Pineco. We're going to do that. So, Pineco it is. Pineco, oop, if I can spell it right, Pineco into slot 5. Sergeant says, I want Pineco, and you've got a good team to compensate here. So that's, that was kind of what I was thinking as well, is like, yeah, we do have like a decent a decent team here to compensate for the fact that it's probably just going to be sitting there. So yeah, uh, Abu will just have to wait until next time. And then the last one, of course, and this is actually pretty funny because we're going to be doubling up, but I think it's actually the, um, well, no, there's, I think there's two options. Technically, we could add Oddish, <laughs> but either way, we're doubling up on types. Uh, I did lo I did love the idea of having Charmander, because <laughs> we have Liz Liz here. Oh, Liz, like your sister. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, we have uh, we have Liz the Charmander here, and also uh, Odd Girl the Oddish. Those are both uh, Pokemon that evolved twice. Um, I was gonna do Charmander, but if you guys think I should do Oddish, I'm down. Uh, because I wasn't sure which starter we were gonna go with, but if I was gonna say like. Was not ex expecting there to be a landslide pick on Cyndaquil, but it is funny to use two two fire starters in one playthrough. I think that's amusing. 
Um, yeah, no, I mean, I think, uh, I think, I think I'll, I think we'll just do Charmander. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. That sounds fun. <laughs> Charmander, yay. All right, there we go. There's our team. Uh, I can add Charmander to the layout as well. Charmander into slot six. And there we go. There's our squad. Uh, looking pretty good, I gotta say. Looking pretty stinking good. Uh, we do have items and stuff on, um, on, uh, on, on our, uh, on our Pokemon here. Actually, I think Apom may have been holding something that I want. Hold on. Let me, I'm gonna briefly deposit Liz. Uh, withdraw Abu. And let me take this. Pokedabo, yeah, I want that. I want that. I knew it was holding something important. Um, so yeah, let me put Abu back. And withdraw Liz. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, Liz's favorite Pokemon is Charmander? Oh, that's nice. Uh, I don't remember who suggested Liz for Charmander. It may have been you. <laughs> but uh, either way, that, that's nice. That's nice. I hope that uh, maybe she'll stop in and, and see her see her namesake Charmander here. That would be nice. Um, but in any case, yeah, as you can see, everyone here is level 10. And uh, poor little baby Newt Newt is not. <laughs> so we definitely want to... Um, Definitely want to to fix that up a little bit. Uh, I do have a bunch of items in in the PC, but I'll probably get those transferred um, into my bag between streams because, uh, as you guys probably realize, uh, withdrawing items off of Pokemon in Gen 2 is a huge pain in the ass. Um, so I will probably just go ahead and do that between streams. In the meantime, uh, we can give Newt Newt the the Poke Dot Bow, and we can just rock out here with um with Newt Newt. Let's get Newt Newt all leveled up. Um, I, I guess, like, just, like, kind of start focusing on that. We can use some of the trainers along the way, um, to Violet City to do that as well. Especially considering we don't actually need to grind at all for the gym leader. We're literally already over his ace, and we have a bunch of really good Pokemon, so... <laughs> Uh, Sector says, also, if you turn off pause when in active in emulator under the options tab, that'll make it so that the, uh, the sound won't turn off. I thought I did that already, and I don't think it worked. Uh, hold on, I'll take a look, though. Uh, so he says, uh, uh, in emulator, uh, da, 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 pause when in active window. Wait, wait, wait. No way. Hold on, I didn't have that clicked. No, it's still, it's still cutting out the sound, unfortunately. I think that that just makes it so that I can continue to play it whenever I'm not clicked into it, but it doesn't do anything about the sound, unfortunately. I was gonna say, like, you would have blown my mind if you just, like, fixed it, like, right then and there for me, Star Champ. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it uh, did not work, unfortunately. I think I may have tried that a long time ago, and it just it didn't work the way I wanted it to. Oh, but, uh, yeah, so let's, um... We definitely want to. I mean, this is this should be a, a good fight for us. Let me go back to that other route real fast. Oh, <laughs> Connie has the experience share. I forgot about that. Let me take that off. You don't need it right now, Connie. Later though. Later. <laughs> Let me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run back. At, we're gonna do just a pinch more grinding here. I'll throw on the banner, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna grind up Newt Newt so that uh, he's all or she's all ready, all good and ready to go here. That'll be nice. Sergeant says, weird, I, I I checked mine and it worked that way. That's really interesting, yeah. Yeah, I've got it clicked, and I, I mean, you guys, you can, you can hear, the, the audio just stops. Maybe I have an older version of Visual Boy Advance or something. I don't know. I'll do some research. I'll do some research to see if I can figure it out. Because it, it, admittedly, it's something that's been bothering me since day one um, with the, with this challenge. I really don't like that it does that, so hopefully I can get it fixed eventually. If I have to, like, switch to a different emulator, too, that's always an option as well. Uh, the, D the, the DS and 3DS emulators that I use don't have that problem at all, so uh, it's, it's something that I'm, I'm hoping to get fixed eventually. I mean, I've been I've been slowly working my way up to try and make the streams better quality for you guys, so I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> all right, let's go. Ooh, uh, hold on. <laughs> See, this is always the part, Jonah, that always spooks me a little bit. Because um, <laughs> it's really easy to get overconfident in your abilities here. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, get, I'll probably get up to level 7 on Newt Newt, and then we'll, then we'll start moving. 
We'll start moving. We can uh, we can fight trainers along the way to Violet City to, to get up to a uh, matching on par level wise with the rest of the squad. And um, you know, by the time we get to Violet City, we should absolutely crush. We should absolutely crush uh, Faulkner. He should be like an absolute joke. <laughs> um, so that's pretty funny. Get him, Newt Newt. Foresight, very nice, very nice. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was looking at the, um, the Hall of Fame entries from yesterday, um, from the, from the blue playthrough, and I was feeling very, I was feeling very proud of myself after yesterday, I have to say. Um, uh, getting, getting an entire team into the Hall of Fame, granted, it was Gen 1, so, like, Gen 1's, like, pretty easy, I will admit. It's, like, probably the easiest generation. Um, but I don't know. So there was something really, really uh, like satisfying and like pleasant about uh, about going through an entire playthrough from start to finish with the same team, and then like just getting them into the Hall of Fame that way. That was really, really nice. I would love to replicate that uh, in the future. <laughs> I really would. That would make me very happy. All right. Let's see. Can we get another shiny hoot hoot, please? <laughs> I still can't believe that. I still can't believe that. This, the 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 funny part too is that uh, there's uh there wasn't a whole lot of people here to to see it either. So <laughs> I'm gonna be telling people about that later. They'll be like, "What, really? That's stub." <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Starship says, "I know you're over level, but imagine this. Starship go gr uh, re has redeemed. Go grind lids." You're wasting your points, Star Champ. All right, but you know what? Look at that XP bar. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it just for you, Star Champ. I'll grind the dude dude up up until he hits level seven. How about that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Here, I actually do want to go heal though real fast. <laughs> and then I'll do it. Then I'll do it. <laughs> Star Champ says, Nah, it's not a waste if I'm laughing. True, very true. You're such a, you're such a goofball. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, there it is. Level seven, beautiful. All right, let's start scurrying forward. I'll go ahead and turn off the grinding banner, and yeah, we'll just like kind of focus on Newt Newt for this first little for this first little romp, and um, you know, switch in as necessary, of course. But uh, yeah, let me let me heal up. And yeah, that polka dot bow, it won't be boost too much because Gen 2's, uh, uh, like, stab boosting items are not particularly amazing. But, um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so wait, turn, turn, turn it off? I don't, I'm, 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 I'm unclear, Star Champ. You mean, like, turn off, I'm not going to turn off the, 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 the grinding thing, no. <laughs> oh, you mean the banner? <laughs> okay, gotcha, yeah, no. Oh, hey, Dapper Kirby, welcome. Dapper Kirby says, you need to grind, Lid. How else will you be ready for that monstrous level 9 Pidgeotto? I know, it's truly frightening. Truly frightening. <laughs> Why am I fighting this Hoot Hoot? I don't need to fight this Hoot Hoot. Whatever. Hold on. Actually, I should buy some potions anyway. I'm going to go back and buy some potions. Um, just for good measure. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, I, was, I was just making that joke, uh, Dapper Kirby, about how... Um, about how we, yeah, we absolutely do not need to grind at all for Folkner because our entire squad, save for the Hoot Hoot that we just caught, is <laughs> level 10. So, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Alright, there we go. All healed. Let me, let me hit the, uh, hit the, the Mart real fast. That'll be good. Yeah, how's it going, Dapper Kirby? Welcome. Lovely to see you. You, uh, you missed some craziness this morning, Dapper Kirby. Um, <laughs> it was actually quite funny and tragic. Yeah, yeah, Star Champ, exactly. Uh, you missed, you missed our second encounter today. Um, it was, uh, oh, I don't need that many potions. Hold on. Five potions is fine. Um, yeah, literally, uh, encounter number two, we, we stepped into the grass. It was literally the second thing we bumped into. We bumped into a shiny hoot hoot. <laughs> Like the second, the sec, the very second, like uh, like any encounter of, of any any Pokemon battle that we've had the entire playthrough, was a shiny hoot hoot. <laughs> we did not have Pokeballs. We did not catch it. 
uh, because we're not supposed to have Pokeballs that early, but it was like, are you serious? I was like in utter disbelief. It was quite funny. All right, it's Youngsta Jelly, the funny meme man. All right, tail whip. You got your you got your polka dot bow clutched in hand there, Newt Newt. You got this. Ba Boom. Nice XP, nice XP. Thank you very much, Joey. All right, and Mikey. I, I forgot how silly his uh, uh, Pidgey sprite looks in, in Gen 2. <laughs> he looks so, he's so low to the ground. Very, very cute, very cute. Also, Joey's a clown if he lost to this level 2 Pidgey with a level 4 Rattata. <laughs> that is impressive. That is an impressive L. Oh dang, I forgot to forgot to get my stream manager up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me do that real fast. I got so caught up with what I was doing uh, this morning. There we go. Well, almost. Uh, da -da -da -da. Sorry, give me just a sec here, you guys. There we go. Okay, now we're good, now we're good. All right, let's go. Ooh, tail whip. Tail whip makes me kind of nervous. It always does, it always does, especially in the early game. But we got this, I think. I think we can kill here. Hey, very nice. Very nice. Come up here. I think I'm, our mom's gonna call and yell. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yep, mom's just like, where are you at? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you, mother. Don't save my money. Thank you, though. Thank you for the thought. Run away. I'll use one of my potions here, just for good measure. <laughs> oh crap, it's my bomb! <laughs> yeah, put out that smoke! Put the drinks away! <laughs> uh, that is funny. I love the, I love the energy on that star champ. <laughs> uh, very funny. All right, antidote acquired. And, ooh, we're gonna fight you. I didn't actually mean to fight you. I wanted to grab that ball first, but I, I picked just the right ledge to jump over. So there we go. All right, catch a pee. Uh, Sergeant says, I just realized this is the this is the gen you taught me about. Wait, what, what did I teach you? <laughs> what did I what did I do? <laughs> uh, but yeah, what what do you mean, Sartamp? Oh yeah, it was Dust Mop. Yeah, I mean well, technically it was Gen Four, but I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, it was jo it was Jodo. Yeah, Dust Mop. <laughs> Dust Mop. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, I'm I'm pro dote personally, but I can't judge too harshly. This game was made at a different time. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, oh, by the way, Dapper Kirby, while I'm thinking about it, um, I, I don't know if you are on uh, mobile or on desktop at the moment, but um, I did some tweaking to my settings. Does stream look okay? <laughs> I'm hoping it looks better than it usually does. I mean, I know it's Gen 2, so the graphics aren't super impressive, but does like the layout like look look decent at all? Because I, uh, I, up, I upped the resolution like pretty heartily. Um, I've been nervous about uh, if it's gonna like cause any issues with my stream, but uh, so far it seems okay. I'm just curious if it looks okay, if it sounds okay. The the, the audio should be the same, but uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just curious. Uh, give me feedback. Give me feedback. Upgrades. It looks pretty much the same for me. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. 
As long as it doesn't look like bad, that's the important part. Um, it should also now be recording the VODs in a lot higher quality, so hopefully that just works out in the long run for me. <laughs> okay, Weedle is coming in. Let's go. Yeah, I should be, um, my, 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 uh, my display here tells me that I'm streaming at 60 frames per second. Um, and it should be now be, uh, recording in 1080 as well. So, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me because I'm not very tech savvy, but I hear that that's op more optimal. <laughs> so, yay. Hopefully, hopefully that, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> The frame rate of the moves, though, <laughs> does it look better? I don't know. It's Gen Two, so like I don't know how many how many frames have actually been improved, but I don't know. Hopefully, it's fluid. I don't know. You guys could probably tell a lot better with the audio animation. I don't know. Um, here, actually, <laughs> funny, funny. Uh, but this, I'm not gonna leave because I want you guys to see the audio animation. But um, I do want to go get another cup of coffee real fast. So um, really quickly, uh, I actually am gonna go on standby. Uh, you guys can look at Audino Dance and tell me if she looks any better. <laughs> Is the frame rate better on the Audino Dance? So, uh, yeah, uh, let me know. Let me know. <laughs> I shall return in just a moment with some more delicious coffee. So, yeah, stay tuned, everybody. Okay, I have returned. Um, thank y'all for your patience. Uh, let's see, uh, St Starchamp says, yeah, smoother, more fluid. It's funny, Audino looks cute as ever. The text scrolling is what I see as a root. Oh, yay, I'm glad. Yeah, it's probably, I mean, it's probably, um, it's probably scrolling at, a, like, a better, I mean, it's scrolling at a better frame rate. <laughs> that's the main thing, yeah, so, like, that makes sense, actually. It's the only thing that's currently, like, running at, like, <laughs> I didn't even really make that connection. Yeah, the, the scrolling text is the only thing that's actually running at any sort of frame that isn't capped by, like, you know, the emulator will be capped because it's not a game that's meant to run at 60 FPS. So, like, that actually makes sense. Um, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad that the scrolling looks good. Yay, Star Champ. Yay. All right, let's heal on up. Very good, and uh, yeah, let's um, 
Let's see here. I'm supposed. Does Newt Newt. When does Newt Newt get like a flying move? Do I. I don't have one yet, right? Yeah, no, just tackle and growl. Um, does Newt Newt get one? That would be really nice for taking on. Um, uh, I was thinking the Bell Sprout Tower, which I do probably want to fight, at least partially. I mean, we'll need to start gearing up for Bugsy anyways, so I might do that. I might do that. Uh, let's see here. Um, hoot Hoot Gen 2 Learn Set. When do you get a flying move, my friend? You get Pack at level 11. That's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. Um, okay, cool. Good to, good to know. Sorry, let me get my modules back up here. There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's, um, <laughs> should I just jump into Faulkner's gym and knock that out real quick? <laughs> not a bad idea, honestly. I'm not going to be using Newt Newt for that anyways, so I might as well. Um, yeah, might as well, might as well. Let's, uh, let's have Clark get some action in. And, uh, yeah, let's go take on, let's go take on Faulkner with our, with our vastly overleveled team here. Uh, Sarge says, I think people might notice once we get to Kalos. Uh, that would make sense, yeah. I mean, granted, those games are also only 720 uh, natively, so it's possible that it won't, you know, wouldn't be as um, as noticeable as it could be. But it, for just based, like, on how more, more fluid it is, it might actually catch a little bit better. So, yeah. Hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, one thing that it, it should definitely, definitely improve, though, is um, uh, whenever I capture from my Elgato. Um, so, switch, basically. Switch onward. Um, Sword and Shield should look amazing uh, at this point. So that's exciting. The pack from the Spiro. Actually kind of makes me a little nervous. You know who I could probably use? I bet you they have some funny moves on them. I don't remember what I gave them because it was a while ago. But I bet you Liz has some funny moves on her. Ooh, that was a little uncomfortably low. Ooh, good XP. Very good XP. I love that I love that Birdkeeper Abe here has a freaking has a freaking Pokemon that's on par level wise with the gym leader. Very amusing. <laughs> very, very amusing. Yeah, let me put Liz out front just to see. Fight this next guy. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> fire blast. Lol. <laughs> That's very silly. That's very, very silly. And we got Mega Kick too. It's also equally funny. Fire blast, Liz. Get him. <laughs> I think we hit Did we do this before? There was another playthrough where we had like something that had fire blast that was really really strong. Maybe it may, maybe it was another freaking uh, Charmander. I don't remember. Was was it Nathan? Was was Nathan the Charmeleon? Was that Gen two or was that Gen one? God, it's been a forever. It's been forever. Everything's blurring together. Yeah, I know Mega Kick <laughs> gets it in Gen one from TM. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Liz strong. <laughs> Well, very nice, very nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, that feels really good. <laughs> that feels really nice, I have to say. Very nice. Let me go heal real quick, and then yeah, we'll we'll knock Faulkner out real dang easy. Real dang easy. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and heal. Thank you. All right, Faulkner, here we come. <laughs> I'm gonna fire blast you. <laughs> I think I will actually lead with Liz. I think that's funny. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say that if you can, uh. Clip flying Pokemon's wings with a jilt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Nathan was Crystal. Okay, that's what I thought. I was gonna say this. This definitely rings a bell of like of of like blasting through Faulkner with a with a uh, fire blast. <laughs> so yeah, no, that um 
that checks out. That checks out, Star Champ. <laughs> Thanks for checking. But yeah, this is all. This should go about as well as it did that last time. <laughs> hey, Pidgey's down. Very nice. Liz will hit level 11. Very cool. We'll just we'll just make this easy on ourselves and stay in with Liz. <laughs> Ooh, I like that sprite, though. That's a nice sprite for Pidgeotto. Ooh, Pidgeotto living. Hits me with a gust. Rude. Alrighty, well, there we go. <laughs> Level 12 as well. Okay, yeah, Liz, Liz is going to have to sit on the back burner for a little while, but that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I like it. And there we go. Just like that, we get ourselves the very first gym badge. Barely an hour into stream. Very nice. <laughs> Deborah Kirby says crit mattered for this fight. Absolutely correct. Yep, couldn't have done it without it. Duh. <laughs> very important. Very important. Uh, all right, yeah. Ba-boom. First badge. Sergeant says, since my first experience with, uh, of the po of Pokemon was the anime, I always thought Fire Blast meant to trace who it hit, i.e. Charizard. Ooh, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah, no, it's just the it's the fire kanji. The, the, the kanji for the word fire in Japan. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I also, I've always thought it looks like a little man, like a little stick man. <laughs> Very amusing. Hey, we got Mud Slap too, hype. I, I, it's always amused me that Gen 2 Faulkner gives Mud Slap of all things. Like, it, it kind of makes sense for birds, like, they like, kick up sand or whatever, but, like, I don't know, it's just, it's just silly. <laughs> Why? Why do they give him a flying move? Um, ooh, give it to Newt Newt. I actually kind of want to give it to Newt Newt. I think so. There you go. Alright, let's go. And, uh, yeah, I think I will, uh, we could technically skip all of Sprout Tower, but, uh, I do want to, honestly, I think we might be able to sneak Bugsy in to today's stream. I actually think that that's very possible. Um, I would love to fight both gym leaders today, so I think I want to start gearing up for Bugsy. And, uh, and with the idea of, like, getting all the way to Azalea, knocking out the Slowpoke Well stuff real quick, and then, um, and then, yeah, just, like, uh, rocking out from there. I think that sounds actually really, like, solid, like, actually like doable <laughs> um so yeah we'll start um we'll work our way through sprout tower we'll fight the trainers on that route south of violet um and then we'll um we'll uh we'll head through union cave knock out the trainers on that next route do slow poke well and then do the gym that's the that, that's the tentative plan for now i think that's actually possible So yeah, let's head on up north here. Fight these these bell sprouts can't really do a whole lot to Newt Newt, so that's nice for us. I wish we had a flying move a little sooner than eleven, but I digress. It, this dude, oh my god! <laughs> Did you guys see that? He's blocking me like a rude man. Very rude. Did not appreciate that. Technically, we could catch a Ghastly here. I do believe we are uh, in need of a Gengar, but I am once again going to save it for Gen 3. You guys know the drill by now. Ooh, yeah, easy two shots with Newt Newt's tackle. Very nice. Ooh, and you do pitiful damage. Do I have- I, I'm not sure if I have, um, what's it called? The fast text on. I should check that. Should definitely check that. Alright. I think I'm comfortable enough to speed through this. Speed through these fights. I don't think we'll be missing too much if I use a little bit of speed up on the- on the Bellsprout Tower. <laughs> there we go. Level 9. Beautiful. Paralyze heal, nice. 
Did, do I actually have fast text on? I'm curious. I do not. There we go. Did I do that save? Yeah, okay, cool. cool. And Gen 2, it's so, Gen 2 is so interesting. Um, I, um, I did not grow up with Gen 2. I did not actually wind up playing it until much later. Um, it's still really, really, like, weirdly nostalgic for me. I, I've never been able to quite understand it. I guess just uh, the retro look and feel, I guess, just kind of does a lot. But, like, I don't know. It's weird. I did not grow up with the game, and yet, like, every time I play it, I'm just like, oh, yeah, Gen 2, baby. It's, like, nice and nostalgic. Just, like, I didn't... But nostalgic for what? Like, I mean, I guess I did play it, like, as a teenager, but, like, I don't know. It's just weird. You know what I mean? I feel like most of those, like, nostalgic feelings come from, like, childhood, childhood. So, like, I'm nostalgic for, like gens one and three because i played those when i was little little but like yeah i don't know very interesting very interesting all right taking down the bell sprout speed up through this last one real fast ba boom easy peasy Sergeant says, teen nostalgia is, is more applicable to me, uh, so I do understand that feeling. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's just really interesting. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I, like, have this mental, mental association with the idea that, um, you can really only be nostalgic for stuff that's, like, when you're a kid. Like, there's, I don't know exactly where the cutoff point would be, but, like, that's just, like, the way that my mind, like, uh, assumes that it would work but at the same time it's like no that's not, not not technically not true i am nostalgic for like when black and white came out and i was definitely like in my mid-teens when that happened so um yeah i don't know i don't know very weird very weird it's an interesting interesting line of, of thought though for certain Ooh, the, the critical hit very nice level 10 newt newt you're one level away from that peck, baby. Then you'll have some stab super effective on these guys. Another one goes down. Wish I had a rare candy or something. That'd be nice. Oh, there's that ghastly. No ghastly. Like I said, saving it for Gen 3. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, I know just seeing GBA games can make me nostalgic for that, for, uh, for that time. Um... Even if the game is one I've never played. So, did you play other Game Boy Color games as a kid? Or see Game Boy Color around a lot? I mean, I played Pokemon Yellow, to be clear. <laughs> I played Pokemon Yellow a lot. So, like, I guess there's that. So I specifically played Pokemon Yellow on my Game Boy Advance. So, it did have color. Um, so, yeah, that, that could be why. That could definitely be why. It does check out. Sergeant says, yeah, no, that's that's marketing. As someone whose media consumption didn't really occur until their preteens, uh, teenage nostalgia is valid. Ah, uh, very, I mean, yeah, fair, very fair. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it probably is there. But I am, I, I guess it's like different levels of nostalgia then in that case. Because it's like, yeah, I definitely have like a lot more nostalgia for Pokemon Yellow than I do for, say, Pokemon, you know, Diamond or Black or whatever the case. Um, but yeah, I don't know, very interesting. I'm definitely the most nostalgic for, for Sapphire and Yellow, though. Those are definitely the ones uh, that I have played by far the most. I won't, I won't speed through these guys because they're a little bit stronger. Uh, play those out and play them a little safer. <laughs> I think it's actually funny. I think our Hoot Hoot's probably going to get the... Um, probably going to get access to Peck as soon as we get to this like last guy, which is really funny. Uh, Deborah Kirby says on the top on the topic, I definitely feel nostalgia for both childhood and teenage years, but the two nostalgia feel different. Don't know if that makes any sense. No, that totally makes sense. That, that's exactly that's basically exactly how I feel, Dapper Kirby. I like big agree on that one. Yeah, it's it's very very different levels of nostalgia. They feel very different. Like I'm nost I'm nostalgic for when Pokemon Black and White came out, like for certain. But like. That, that that kind of nostalgia I have for that time in my life is very much different from the nostalgia I have for, say, you know, Pokemon Yellow or uh, Ocarina of Time, like, playing Ocarina of Time for the first time when I was, like, five. Um, like, it's, it's a very, very different feel. 
Very, very different feel. Charger says, I, uh, fair. I f I'm most nostalgic for Emerald and GX Duel Academy. You mean the Game Boy Advance uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX game, Star Champ? Just so I'm clear. I want that game. I actually am trying to get that game whenever I can because I hear it's actually a really fun way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Is that Game Boy Advance game. Hey, there we go. Bellsprout goes down. And Newt Newt hits level 11. Trying to learn Peck. I do, in fact, want Peck, please. We will get rid of Growl. Thursday says, yes, I used to play it. It was really fun, but the AI kind of cheats. I've heard, I think I read, read somewhere online that it, it, like, knows what your face downs are. It just won't attack if it, like, knows that it would be, like, detrimental to it. Like, apparently, like, if you, like, played, like, Marshmallow, they just won't attack the Marshmallow because they know that it's a Marshmallow. <laughs> it's like, uh, bullshit. <laughs> Total bullshit. I didn't see what was coming out. Let's go into Clark. Okay, it's Hoot Hoot. Alright. Yeah, we'll go into Clark. Clark, we'll deal with it. What level does... I can never remember when frickin' Cyndaquil gets a fire move. Kinda rough that we gotta wait. Okay, one more, Clark. You got this, buddy. Very nice. And level 11. Very cool. Okay, let's see here. Who are we going to use against this, the next... The, the, or the final Sage, rather? Um, Nutty? I guess it, uh, it can be Nutty's turn. Maybe he does have a hoot hoot that I need to be aware of. Um, but let's see. Um, who do I want to use against that hoot hoot? Because I would say Paul is probably a bad decision. <laughs> we have got our moves self destruct. Well, uh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, I guess just Clark or one of our other one of our other guys who doesn't matter too much. I guess, yeah, we could probably do Newt Newt. That'll work. That'll work. But in any case, let's uh, let's focus on. We'll use Nutty first on uh, on this guy. Sergeant says, uh, "Yeah, it's so annoying, but at least that means that you could stall because it never attacks. They can't uh, destroy it since most of their cards require it to be face up." Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. You know, um, there's something really fun about just playing um, Yu-Gi-Oh against like AI. <laughs> I know it's like like arguably like too easy, but like I don't know. I played the crap out of Yu-Gi-Oh Eternal Duelist Soul, the uh, GBA game. I actually uh, sat down and completed that game uh like a few months ago <laughs> uh, that was the one i played the most growing up that that game's busted because it has like access to every card like even banned like cards that have been banned for a really long time you can just use in that game like cyberstein and uh <laughs> witch of the black forest and stuff like that it's crazy Sergeant says, I hope, I hope you do end up getting it i can't wait to see uh see which girl you, you romance wait there's you can romance people in that game what no way. No way. <laughs> Didn't know that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Alright, Bellsprout. Get him, Nutty. I love that we have an Executor this early. It's so silly. And yes, so yeah, I gave uh, I gave it Mega Drain and Psychic from our, uh, from our blue playthrough, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> so yeah, we have a pretty busted Executor early on in this game, which is very nice. Okay, Hoot Hoot is coming out. Let's just go into Newt Newt. And we will peck it. Not too bad. Ooh, critical hit, though. I wonder if Tackle would be better with the Polka Dot Bow. Hard to say. Give it a shot. We're also growled at now, so ooh, yeah, that was rough. One more? Yeah, one more will do the trick. 
There we go. Claire says, yep, who will you give chocolate to, uh... Who, who will you give chocolate to? Did Valentine, Blair, my, my, er, my, my choice, Alexis, Mindy, the other girl that hangs with Alexis? Oh my god, you could, there's so many people. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sure it's very tame, but uh, that is amusing. Yeah, four, got it. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that, that's that's very silly, Star Champ, but I do I do I do think it's funny. <laughs> All right, give him the psychic. Very good. Sergeant says, you give chocolate, and then when you beat them in a duel, you get money for Christmas. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, no, that, it, it seems like a fun little game. I'll, I'll be excited to try it out whenever I am able to get a hold of it. Um, I just got the hankering to, like, try other Yu-Gi-Oh! games on the Game Boy Advance. That era of Game Boy Advance games for Yu-Gi-Oh! was a lot of fun. Um, uh, and yeah, I was uh, I was thinking about picking picking one of them up, and that was, that was the one that I, like, almost got, but then didn't, just because I figured I should save money that I had at the time. And, um, yeah. But I might I might get it eventually, so. Uh, I was in the mood after I played, um, I played a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul and, um, the Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy, Game Boy Color. I played those, like, back-to-back, -back, so I was, like, very much in, like, a Game Boy, uh, trading card game, like, mood. <laughs> so, that was the one that I almost went and got that I was, like, really tempted, just didn't wind up doing. But I do still want to play it eventually. All right, there we go. So, that wasn't too shabby. I guess we should grab that egg real fast. We might get blocked until that happens, so... Is he gonna make me... Yeah, he's gonna make me go and, like, actually deposit it. Hold on. Change the box. I'm gonna go to, like, box 14 straight up. Okay. We'll deposit Nutty for just a second. Take this egg. Thank you. Deposit the egg, and withdraw Nutty. <laughs> there we go. And we'll change the box back to box one. There we go. Beautiful. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, Sergeant says, the World Championship games are pretty fun, but GX feels more like a visual novel. Ah, I see, I see. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, the, the Eternal Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul is literally just card game simulator. There's, like, absolutely nothing more to it. Um, but, like, I, I, I did admittedly love the idea of, like, like an actual, like, story and, like, things to do that weren't just fighting, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I guess I should probably go ahead and give Connie the experience share back, huh? What am I gonna do with a pineco, you know what I mean? Like, I probably will actually have to, like, grind it out. Then again, I could just grind it off screen. What do you have again? Just tackle, protect, and self-destruct. That is really rough. That's gonna be very difficult to grind. <laughs> I will say. Um, maybe I'll do, like, one meaty grinding session off-stream and then just, like, not have to worry about it for a little while. It's probably not a terrible idea, honestly. <laughs> but, in any case, yeah, for now, I'll leave the experience share off. I'll probably just do something along those lines, because, yeah, Pineco ain't going to be seeing a lot of play. Um, in any case, let's lead with Nutty and head south now. Grab whatever this is. Purr's Cureberry. Very nice. And uh, Sergeant says I, I says I used to have a Yu-Gi-Oh magazine that had walkthroughs for all the games up up to Eternal Duel. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's super cool. Oh, something I noticed while while I was uh, recording the Hall of Fame members for uh, for the last um, the last playthrough, um, we're done with the Bell Sprout line. We have the whole Bell Sprout line in now, which is kind of cool. We have uh, we have Lemongrass, we have Diuwup, and we have Petey. Um, I didn't, I didn't notice until I went and recorded it, but I was like, oh yeah, hey, cool, we got a, another full line in. And in addition to, like I said, we, um, we got Blastoise in, um, or the, the, the full Squirtle line into the Hall of Fame as well, which is really neat. Really, really neat. Progress is progress. Just seeing the, wow, Bellsprout made me think of that. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, yeah, super cool. Zubat's coming out, huh? Let's go into 
Ugh. I don't have a whole lot of great options for that, do I? I guess Clark. Is it? For some reason, I feel like it's 13 that we get Ember, which is super lame. Does someone want to verify what level we get a fire move on Clark? That would be nice. Oof, not quite. Oh, it's, tw it's 12 for Ember. Oh, okay, that's that's much better. Thank you, Daffer Kirby. Appreciate it. You think I would remember that by now, but... <laughs> I digress. Alright, you're next on the chopping block. I think you have a Nidoran female, so we should be good to go with Nutty. Bonk. Alright, Nidoran female goes right down, no problem. Level 11, ahoy. Got ourselves a potion, very nice. Yeah, but if, if I recall correctly, Bugsy is level 16, and granted, we have Liz with Fire Blast, so we should be in relatively good shape, but yeah, I do I do still want to make sure that we're, like, approaching approaching his level by the time we get up to him, so that'll be important. Let's lead with Paul here, give Paul some action. Head, uh, let's head this way, we'll, we'll take, the, take the docks, the docks path. Poliwag. Oh god, I love Gen 2 Poliwag. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so stinking cute. Ooh, we got Strength and Horn Attack. Nice. Easy fodder for Paul. Very good. Strong. Bug is strong. Polywag goes down. And this trainer goes down. Very good, Paul. Very good. We love that. We love that. Oop, I didn't mean to tackle. Oops, I should probably just bring strength up to the start there. Ooh, is it is tackle enough, though? <laughs> uh, Sir says, wait, can you not refresh Pokemon uh, not in the Alola decks, or am I forgetting something? No, you should be able to. You, you should be able to. Like, were you trying to use Pokemon Refresh? It's, it, to be clear, Star Champ, it's not... Uh, oh, hey, uh, welcome, Kana. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's... um To be clear, it's not based on what the first Pokemon in your party is. You have to, like, actually manually... Uh, go into the, me the the Pokemon refresh menu and sw and swap which Pokemon you're you're actively using. Just as a reminder. All right, another Magic Cup. They will. Uh, there, there, there will also be little blurbs that will show up at the end of battle that will auto auto take you to Pokemon Refresh with like the Pokemon in question to like uh, brush off like dirt or whatever. <laughs> Yay, Jessica and Kirby! I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that they uh, worked out well for you. <laughs> I hope that your hope that your run is going well uh, with them so far. <laughs> Ooh, 
Oof. So close to level 11, Paul. This, this last Magikarp ought to do the trick. Very nice. And... Oh, not quite! Oh, it's so, it's so close. So dang close. Feels bad. <laughs> All right, the final, the final fisherman, I do believe. What uh, does, I was gonna say, does somebody wanna look, I haven't used Heracross in Gen 2, like literally ever before. Does it have access to any fighting or bug moves by level up? That would be good info to have, honestly. Ooh, actually, doesn't Goldeen get, oh yeah, Peck. Oh, okay, yeah, we need to switch. <laughs> I uh, I was thinking about that. I was like, oh wait a minute, hold on, that could be a bad time. Uh, oh man, who do I switch to? We have a we have a, an abundant weakness to flying on our team. I'm noticing. <laughs> uh, Damon Kirby says no. It's Gen 2 Lurts that sucks. Unfortunate. <laughs> what does it have access to? I mean, is there any like TMs too? I could be keeping an eye out for those as well. Um. Yeah, what what do, what all does it have access to that would be beneficial stab wise? Dapper says uh, only Mega Horn for bug and counter and reversal for fighting. Ugh, those are kind of lame. Um, hmm, interesting. What level does it get reversal, or is it TM? Mega Horn at fifty four. That's pathetic. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so bad. That's so stinking bad. Also, this confusion kind of scares me a little bit. Um. Alright, let me... I mean, Nutty should be able to take a peck, no problem. Reversal at 44, oh my god. <laughs> Does it get any fighting moves by TM, at least? Counter's not gonna help me. <laughs> Counter's not gonna help me at all. Does it get any... Does it get any fighting moves by TM? Probably gets Dynamic Punch. I imagine. Only Rock Smash and Detect. That's... Oh my god, Gen 2, why? <laughs> Gen 2, why are you so bad? And Fury... I mean, Fury Cutter is at least okay. It's not great, but I'll take it. Man, that's so lame. <laughs> that's so lame. What a garbage moveset. Oh, poor Heracross. Poor Heracross. But hey, you know what? We gotta, we gotta work with it. At least it has, like, strong physical attack and you know we taught it strength and has horn attack i mean at least it has moves that hit hard just not stab so whatever whatever <laughs> that's so lame though Uh, Dev Curse's Horn Attack is unironically the best move it learns after Mega Horn. Wow, that is really bad. What is Horn Attack's power? Is it which which has better power, Horn Attack or Strength? Because I am curious about that. We have Strength and Horn Attack on this Heracross, so I'm just curious. Sergeant says at least you can breed Flail onto it. Shaking my head. <laughs> That's very silly. Ooh, look at the Gen 2 Whooper. Uh, okay, uh, 65 on hard attack, 80 on strength. Okay, so strength is just objectively better then. Got it. Yeah, look at this whooper. Yo, you can breed bide? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's pretty hype. That's pretty stinking hype. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, whooper. It was lovely to see you, though. All right, that's uh, there's one more trainer uh, just south of here. We definitely don't want to fight with uh, with Heracross though, because he uses flying Pokemon. I remember that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with uh, Clark's about to get the move, but hmm. Yeah, I guess Clark. I guess Clark is the best one here. I'm kind of wondering if we're actually even going to be able to hit, like, around 
15, 16, somewhere in there. By the time we get to Bugsy at this rate. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I'm gonna ignore Connie for now, but don't worry, I'll get I'll get Connie caught up between streams. But uh, everyone else, I, I would like to at least be around 15 at the very minimum before we take on Bugsy. Even though I'm quite confident that a couple of fire blasts from Liz will probably destroy him. <laughs> Still, better to be safe than sorry. Nice and critical hit. Another Pidgey. A level 12, very nice. We got Ember. Wonderful. Okay, next, last of the Spearow. The Spearow kind of makes me nervous. Um. Err. Uh, Spearow. Oh, Spearow. Um. I guess Newt Newt can fight it. I love how pudgy Spiro looks in Gen 2. Very funny. I think it looks fatter in this game than it does in Gen 1, which is surprising. I do love it, though. <laughs> it's very amusing to me. Ooh. A little low there, but should be okay. Ooh, almost level 12. Almost level 12 on Newt Newt, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, let me heal up before we go into Union Cave, and we'll just keep on trucking here. Very good. Into the cave we go. Let's see, who do we want to lead with? Um, let me organize here a little bit. So we're going to put Connie at the bottom. We'll sort our, sort our squad a bit, though. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we'll lead with, uh, with Newt Newt. That's fine. Unless... Is, it, is the first trainer a hiker? I don't remember. I do not remember. Yeah, that looks like a hiker to me. Hold on. Let me, let me go with, uh, let me go with Nutty instead. Hello, sir. Hiker Daniel, got the Onyx. I like the Gen 2 Onyx sprite, it's really nice looking. Very, a lot, a lot of depth, a lot of shading on that for, you know, being a Gen 2 sprite. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ah, uh, bind, bind is much less terrible in Gen 2. <laughs> terrible for me, I mean. <laughs> Alright, Onyx goes right down, no problem. Grab ourselves a potion. Okay, so we'll s no, let's stay. Let's stay with Nutty. Stay with Nutty. He's still not level twelve yet. Geo, dude. Ooh, that is a fierce, that is a fierce, uh, posing. Fierce, dynamic pose. I rather like it. I rather like it. <laughs> Starship says, now, to feel bad while I KO preschoolers, uh, preschoolers, friends, and pets. <laughs> Very nice. Are you doing the, uh, you doing the trainer school? Um, for, the, for those who, who missed it, um, Starchamp is doing a, a friend... Uh, a friend-themed uh, run of Pokemon... I think he said Moon, right? One of the Alola games, I know that. So, very fun stuff. Oh, 
All right, Geodude goes down. Yeah, Moon. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. I just wanted to be sure. Well, I hope you have a great time with Moon. <laughs> All right, final Geodude. I guess we'll just stay in. Stay in and make it easy on ourselves. Okay, so let me swap out from Executor here, and we'll go with uh, Paul. Wait, does this guy... No, no, he, I think he just has coughing. I was gonna say, he is a fire user, but I don't think he has fire bonds yet. Unless, does he maybe have a Vulpix or something like that? No, it's coughing. Okay, cool. That works out. Ooh, look at that coughing sprite, though. I'm so much less used to, like, the gold and silver sprites. I'm much more used to the, um... I'm much more used to the, the crystal sprites. <laughs> Starcher says that, yeah, I mean, at least it's not ultra. <laughs> True. True. Ultra is a little rough. It has some It has some good elements, to be clear. I do, I, I do like to reiterate often that, like, it's... It has some things I don't like about it for certain, but it has some things that are redeemable. Just, you know, not enough. <laughs> not enough, in my opinion. I I've kind of come to the come to the conclusion that like most people think that the, the issues that Ultra has are pretty non consequential. Like they they prefer the Ultra games regardless of those issues because like the quality like quality improvement to like gameplay and stuff. But I'm like I just don't agree. I don't I, I feel like I I feel like I'm I have a unique take in that regard based on what I've seen online at least. So yeah I don't know. It's interesting though. It's very interesting though. Let me get. Let me see if I can quickly get to level level twelve off of this Radita. That'd be nice. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Paul's trying to learn endure. Um, what do I have again? I can get get rid of Lear, I guess. I doubt I'll use endure, but hey, it's it's a fun thing to have, I suppose. All right, Newt Newt, your turn. Dapper Kirby says, Lids plays Pokemon for the story and characters, so the issues stand out more. That, I mean, that basically sums it up, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> yeah, like, ooh, literally like a single, hold on. Yeah, let me, let me quickly kill this Rattata too. Yeah, no, that basically sums it up, Dapper Kirby. That's like literally like my favorite things in Pokemon, D despite how kiddie the games are and how like not super in-depth the stories are. I do still play for the story more or less, so it's just like, yeah, it's, that's just kind of how it goes. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant says, you also don't do the Rainbow Rocket stuff, which appeals to those that do that. Uh, I, to be clear, Rainbow Rocket's cool in concept. I think that its execution is a little bit botched. Um, they they should have, frankly, they should have made Rainbow Rocket the focus instead of the stupid Ultra Necrozma stuff. <laughs> if they'd done that, I think that game would have been much better for it. Oh my god, look at Slowpoke. <laughs> I, love the, I love the sprite of Slowpoke. It's so cute. Look at the tummy. He's got a little tummy. <laughs> uh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh, Slowpoke's so cute. Uh, Dabakirby says, but once again, Lids, people like the hype fights with Rainbow Rocket and don't care about the plot being a kind of whatever. I mean, I, I get it. I get, I get it. The the fights are cool. <laughs> the fights are cool. I'll, I will give I will give Rainbow Rocket that. Yeah, pet my tum tum. Yeah, that's exactly what that slowpoke looked like. It was saying Star Champ. <laughs> oh, very cute. Very cute. A hey, TM thirty nine. Forget what that is. That Swift? I think that's Swift. Pretty sure we've done this before, where I I teach Swift to the to the starter. Yeah. I think I will do that once again. And uh, oh, Newt Newt also gets it. Mm, that might be better, because uh, Newt 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 gets stabbed from that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Swift is stronger than Tackle too, so that'll that'll work out good for us. Get rid of Foresight. I'm never gonna use that.
Alright, and then over to the other side, we can pick up... X Defend, very nice. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, uh, oh yeah, this is this is back when all normal moves are physical. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, were you like having like a mental fit of just like, wait, no, it's special, but then you're like, oh wait. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's physical, so yeah, it's it's better on the hoot hoot in this case. <laughs> Hilariously enough. Uh, okay, yeah, let's leave Clark out front. That's good. Let's scurry on through the rest of the Union Cave. All right. I think this is the last trainer in here, too, which is nice. Ooh, this one has a Vulpix. All right, fair enough. Dap Curry says, if you get rid of the flame, Cyndaquil's back sprite in this game looks like one of those cream-filled pastries. Oh, he does kind of. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, he looks he looks like a like one of those like uh, the ones that are like topped with like chocolate. It, it, like they're not like donuts, but like they're just like a pastry that has like the chocolate topping. Um, yeah, I I totally see it. I totally see it, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very that's actually quite adorable. Can't unsee it now. <laughs> oh god. I can't unsee it. It really does look like that. That's really cute. Why do you look so delicious, Clark? <laughs> Alright, Vulpix goes down. Very good. All right, out onto this route. Okay, so one thing I know for certain, this guy right here fights, and he's kind of strong. Which, yeah, okay, cool. He snuck past him real fast. I will come back and fight him in just a minute. I want to make sure that we're all healed up and stuff. Um, but yeah, here we are. We made it to Azalea Town. Very nice. Um, yeah, let me heal, and um, I'll go activate Kurt and all that stuff, too, just since we're here. Um, and then I will go back and fight that guy. Just want to make sure. I... He has a Machop. I remember that. I, that, that, for whatever reason, that particular trainer has given me trouble in the past, so I just want to make sure that we're nice and, uh, nice and good and ready to fight him. Hey there, Kurt. Mm, who are you? Nids, eh? You want me to make some some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an, an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a, a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Oh, well, what a chad. Anyways, let's let's grab... I think it's a white apricorn. Yeah, very good. Very good. And now we will head on over... To, to, to fight that trainer I skipped, yeah. Uh, I think I'll just lead with Nutty on that one. Because, um, Nutty, if, I think he has a Geodude, too. And Nutty will be good against the Geodude and the Machop, so that works out well for us. Let's play it safe on that one. Sergeant says, we stand Kurt on this channel, I know, yeah. <laughs> he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. I, I In the anime, I'm sure to this day, he's still pondering over what what's in that GS ball. <laughs> That's, uh, that's my, probably my favorite thing about Kurt, to be honest, is that he's probably still trying to figure out what's in that ball. <laughs> Alright, Chidu goes down. And yeah, here's the Machop. Uh, Sergeant says, always was one of my favorite characters in the anime. I really like that episode where he dresses up as a big slowpoke. <laughs> I'm really nostalgic for that one. That's, like, probably the one episode of the Johto, like, portion of the anime that I am, like, genuinely nostalgic for. Because I saw that episode, like, three times somehow. Um, and, yeah, I, I love that episode. I, he, the suit, the slowpoke suit he's wearing is so chunky, too. It's really satisfying. It's, it's like, really round and just pleasant. It's just, 
It's just a good time. It's just a good time. Okay, let me heal and then we'll go take on the slow poke. Well, we are doing fantastic on time. Um, I was worried, like, I was like, oh, we could take on Bugsy, I think, if we run a little bit long. But, like, at this point, I actually think that if we don't take on Bugsy, we'll be running a little short. So, <laughs> this is, um, this is interesting. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we can, I think we can take on Bugsy today, like, with little to no problem. Um, should be good, should be good. Uh, let me swap out to, uh, actually, it's just about Liz's turn, so let's go with Liz. Uh, Sergeant says, uh, so if you if you could write an episode, movie, or special that opened the GS Ball, uh, what would be inside it now? I mean, I, I, I do probably stand by the idea that it probably should be a Celebi, because that was what it was always supposed to be. They, they have answered that question. Like, the, the, the developers said that it was supposed to be Celebi, but um, they decided to ab abandon that plot point in favor of just making a movie about Celebi. And they didn't want to, like, confuse people. Like... Oh, there's like two Celebi, blah blah blah. Because like at the time it was like there was only ever like the one legendary that they'd show off in the anime, and that changed later, of course. But like, yeah, like that was their reasoning at the time. <laughs> Pretty fascinating stuff, honestly. All right, Radita. Ooh, quick attack, you bamboozled me. Ooh, god, I love th I love this track. This track is so good. Can you guys hear that okay? I love this track. Ah, oh, it's just really really cool and somber. Esther says, I always thought that that was silly. Celebi is a time traveler. Who's to say it could be the same Celebi? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it is it's it is very silly. Deborah Kirby says, we don't want to confuse people with two Celebis also of the Pokemon Company. Let's make a second female version of the genderless Mewtwo. <laughs> I know, right? It's great. It is, it is very amusing, actually, yes. <laughs> I heard that movie was not very good. I have not seen it myself. The uh, the Genesect, the the Mewtwo versus Genesect movie. I did not hear very good things about it though, so that's unfortunate. I learned smoke screen. Um, I could take smoke screen, I guess. Uh, then again, then again, I don't really want to. I guess I could get rid of Scratch. Yeah, sure, why not? It's not good. It's not good, Star Champ. Unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. That sucks too because Genesect is so cool, but I mean, if it's not good, it's not good. What you gonna do? Uh, let's go with a clerk. Sergeant says it, re it really is not. I should make a tier list of the You should! I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I've I haven't seen enough to like really actively make a tier list. <laughs> I've only seen up till Destiny Deoxys, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One day I'll watch them. I'll probably watch them, like, as I make my way through the anime, to be honest. Like, because I think I've, I've mentioned I'm, like, in the middle of, like, Johto. Um, so, um, once I, once I, once I break through that, that barrier and actually sit down and watch some more of it, then I'll, uh, I'll probably start watching some of the movies alongside, alongside it and, uh, make my way through. Sergeant says, you know how Ash is, is is 10? He's like half that in the movie. Like, like literally half that? Or like, like he's acting like a brat or something? Hello, Zubat. Goodbye, Zubat. There we go. Get ourselves a super potion. Mentally. Got it. Got it. Well, unfortunate. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Alright, Rocket Grunt with the Ratata. 
Yeah, honestly, even some of the um, some of the movies that I um, that I have seen, I kind of want to see again because it's been a really long time since I watched a few of them. I watched uh, Jirachi Wishmaker and Pokemon Heroes not too long ago, and they were actually <laughs> they, they were not nearly as good as I remember them being, to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, no, um, I need to. I, I haven't watched Destiny Deoxys in a really really long time. I actually really want to rewatch that movie because I remember liking it a lot. It sounds, it, I would say it sounds like you like the, those reboot movies quite a bit, Star Champ, which is really fascinating to me because I didn't really like the concept myself, but I'm glad that you enjoyed them so much. Oh, Swift doing wonders with our polka dot bow hoot hoot. That's actually kind of nice. Some big damage. All right, Zubat goes down. Very nice. All right, final grunt. I think that Newt Newt can handle it. I do believe. Let's go. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Yeah, like I like it better when this guy's an actual dude instead of just Mookie Grunt number number five <laughs> or four or whatever. But I digress. Oh, that's right. We do have mud slap. I could be mud slap in these coughings, which is always really funny. <laughs> Let's see here. How much does that do? I'm curious. Oh, not very much. It does re uh, reduce the accuracy though, which is nice. Here, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and heal up real fast too. Got these potions. Level 14, that's pretty dang strong, actually. Who actually lands the smog? The the low low accuracy smog through the, the minus three accuracy? Okay, game. <laughs> Here, let me heal again, just to be safe. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, like, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> like, I, I do, I do understand, I do understand Star Champ, definitely, definitely, definitely. Realistically, like, it's surprising that Ash has been has just maintained like main character status for as long as he has. You would have thought that like by now they would have dropped him because like he really, they've really been holding on to him for so long. I know he's like iconic and everything, but like, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if they did just like kind of switch switch things up? <laughs> All right, there we go. Team Rocket taken care of. We are a little bit under leveled uh, for where I would want to be to take on Bugsy. Granted, there's still some gym trainers we can fight, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll um, I, I guess we could just focus in on uh, on getting Liz and Clark um both leveled up appropriately, and then just blast through the gym with fire types. <laughs> That's actually not a terrible idea. All right. Yeah, take that white eye for corn. Thank you, sir. Okay, so yeah, let me um, let me heal up here. Uh, let me. I think that's what we'll do. I think I'll get. Um, I think I'll go ahead and get uh Clark and Liz up to level fifteen. We'll leave the rest where they are, and then we will um. We'll blast through Bugsy's gym. I think that's the game plan. So we're gonna do a quick little pinch of grinding here. I can find my grinding banner. Where is it? There it is. I need to put that in a better spot, honestly, where I can find it more easily. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll just grind these guys out real fast. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Ooh, actually, if I... Uh, does the rival fight... Actually, here, I'm curious. Before I before I officially put the grinding banner on. Um, does the rival fight trigger before or after the gem? Actually, not sure. On the off chance that it does trigger, because it would probably be easier to grind these fire types against the bugs and grass Pokemon in the Ilex Forest, so... Let's, uh, let's check that out real fast. Are you here, Silver? He is here. Okay, let's fight Silver real quick, I guess. <laughs> Usually I wait until after, um... Until after Bugsy, but... I think in this in this instance we're gonna fight him first. Ghastly. Unfortunate. Ah, I see. That that is, that's actually interesting, Star Champ. I never knew that about that uh about that scene in Final Fantasy X. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, interesting. I never played the game myself. It's on my it's on my to playlist eventually, but <laughs> haven't played it. So very very fascinating. Very fascinating. Oh my god, this freaking Mickey Ma Mickey Mouse cartoon Croconaw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. Oh god, level 16 too. That's very strong. We ate that Mega Drain. Ate that Mega Drain like crazy. How much a Psychic would do? Says, yeah, most people don't. They just know the meme. I'll be curious about about what you think of that scene, Lids. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll have to I'll have to get back to you on it. Uh, it's probably gonna be a while before I play uh, Final Fantasy X. I was planning on making my way through those games more or less in like release order. So, um, but it's gonna be a little while before I get on my next RPG uh, kick here. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay, Zubat. Uh, I think we can do... Let's do Liz on that one. Hopefully a quick Fire Blast will take care of it. Oh no, not Supersonic. That's annoying. Yeah, I am very curious about that talking Pikachu scene too, Dapper Kirby. Because <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw just a clip of that and I was like, this feels so wrong. <laughs> Come on, Liz. Break through. Break through. Break through. Hey, very nice. Very good, very good. Thirteen is exactly, but discussing it is is why uh in why just dis discussing why is a spoiler, got it. Um fair enough, fair enough. All right. Well, that silver fight didn't go uh, as poorly as it definitely could have, so that's good. Uh, yeah. Let me uh, let me pop into Ilex Forest, and then we'll take on um, we'll take on Bugsy. The good stuff. All healed. Well, I am very glad that we managed to get through um, this whole the, the, this whole dang stream without too many hiccups or really any hiccups as far as my new uh, recording uh, uh, stuff goes. So that that makes me very happy. I'm very pleased about that. Oh, let me let me put that grinding banner back on real fast. Boop. There we go. All right, here we go. Actually, Clark's gonna evolve. Very nice. Very nice. What? Clark is evolving. Yay! Quillava. Oh, look at real, real bizarre in Gen Two. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, Quillava. Into slot one, very nice. 
very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, one more level on you will we'll do the trick, though, Clark. But yeah, these Parises are easy fodder for us. Well, yeah, Quilavalo, it's looking very strange. It, it's very bizarre. All the Gen 1 Pokemon look completely on model in this game. Like, completely, like, exactly the way they're supposed to, more or less. Um, the Gen 2 mods look particularly derpy, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, Quilava looks fine, but it definitely doesn't look like a Quilava, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, Alright, so let's switch to, switch to Liz here. Get to level 15, and then I think we should be ready to take on the gym. And yeah, we'll keep in mind that Liz, Liz is not evolving. Liz is just a Charmander, so that's also something to remember. <laughs> I have to be ready to hit the, the B button when and if it gets to level 16. Oh yeah, no, no, the, no, I, I knew what you meant, Starchamp. Yeah, no, it still it still looks cool. It just doesn't look like a, look. it doesn't look like a Quilava, you know what I mean? <laughs> it looks a little off model. And yeah, no, it looks, it looks fine. It just looks weird. <laughs> it looks weird compared to how it's supposed to look. All right, there we go. Level 15. Beautiful, Liz. Beautiful. All right. Let's uh let's do this thing then. Uh yeah, I think we'll we'll just we'll just rock out with what we got here. Should be good to go. Uh I guess I could use some of my other mods against um Ooh, Sarge has redeemed go grind. All right. All right. I'll grind I'll grind one of my other guys up here. Let's grind Paul up actually. We'll grind Paul up to um to level thirteen to match the others. I was gonna say I was gonna I, I was thinking about using my other guys for the gym trainers and then just using the fire guys for um for what's it called um for Bugsy. So yeah, that works out. That works out. We'll do it just a pinch bar grinding. We'll do it over here. Here, let me put Heart Attack out front. Could waste those before we waste anything else. I'm so glad to be back in Gen 2, uh, where we can actually see the freaking experience bar. <laughs> that makes me feel so much uh, like, you, you know, I, I could check the experience number any time in the status screen in Gen 1, but you know what I mean? Just having that visual indicator just lets me know how about how long things are going to take in a more reasonable fashion. <laughs> yeah, very nice, very nice. There we go. Paul hits level 13. Excellent. So, there you are, Star Champ. <laughs> Thank you for the redemption. Grinding off. All right, let's uh let's go into this gym now. I mean, yeah, like I said, we'll use the trainers to to try and catch up. I'll keep using Paul. I think that sounds good. Uh, let me heal just for the PP, I guess. I suppose. There we go. And in we go. Let's fight fight you guys. Not a double battle, because we're in Gen 2, baby. <laughs> Spinarak. Ooh, yeah, the, the, the weirdly purple Gen 2 Spinarak. Very cool. <laughs> Alright, Spinarak goes down. Nice and easy. Luddy Ba. Ooh, look at that Luddy Ba, though. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It's a little off model, but that's okay. That's okay. We we still like it. We still like it. <laughs> Goodbye, Luddy Ba. All right, another one. Give us another. Give us another. What do you have? You have a Paris. I do believe we can handle that. Bonk. 
Ooh, Paris living though. All right, and Paris goes down. Very good. Well done, Paul. I think there's two more trainers that we probably want to take on here real fast. Should be one on this other side, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Might as well take all the ex experience we can get, right? Yeah, I am. I am pleased though. Yeah, we really, we really moved through this uh, this opening bit of uh, of Gen two. <laughs> I feel like we've we've really blasted ahead. Don't, don't, I feel like we usually like get through or like get like right up to Union Cave, right? Um, in the in the first uh, like we usually like call it like after like two hours and like that's about where we get. But yeah, here we are like actually taking on the gym in uh, in stream number one. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think I'll try and match this pace in Gen two going forward. <laughs> Star just says, "What bad parrots?" Uh, well, our daughter was gonna be called Amy, but what do we call her twin? Just move the A over. <laughs> nice, Star Champ. <laughs> Oop, I meant to strength you, but all right, horn attack. Ooh, well done, Paul. Well done. Uh, Sarge says, you know what? Uh, what what's a challenge to your mods to make make slower next Gen two run? Sorry, I, I, I botched that sentence entirely. But uh, yeah, go go ahead, Star Champ. What's up? What's up? <laughs> All right. Benny's got a Weedle. I think this guy has like Weedle Kakuna Beedrill, if I if I if I remember right. Oh, okay. Now I I think I understand what you said, Star Champ. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I misread it and just didn't did, didn't um did not um <laughs> did not com did not compute. But yeah, no. Okay, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like it's a challenge to you guys in the next the next run. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Dabber Kirby says, please. There's no there's no challenge. That's mere child's play for us. <laughs> Very nice. Oh my goodness, you guys are ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. All right, be drill. Be drill sprite looking pretty, pretty fierce though. I gotta say. Ooh, almost level fifteen on Paul. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Well, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's do this. Um, I think Bugsy leads with in Gen two. Doesn't doesn't he lead with um uh, with the like Metapod or whatever? Yeah, let me check. I'm curious. Um, yeah, 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 Metapod. Cool. I'll I'll start off with Clark and then we'll work our way into Liz for the Scyther. I think that'll be good. Uh, so says, uh, Lids, we should, we should, uh, get to Giovanni at the end of the street. Mods, are you sure about that? Oh my god, don't sabotage me! <laughs> don't sabotage me! I'm trying to, trying to do my thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 Clark out front. Clark out front, that's who I want. Let's go, Clark. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is, is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Let's go! Bugsy! Ooh, <laughs> that is an awkward looking Metapod, holy cow. Why are Silver Sprites so weird? <laughs> it's so awkward looking. Although this is like the only Sprite I've ever seen that you can actually tell that it's facing forward here and not backwards. Like... You can see the other eye. It's it's looking straight ahead as opposed to like the usual. A lot of people think that like thing on its back is its nose. It's not. It's his back. <laughs> kind of amusing. Wow. Very cool. 
Star 2 says the best part is that it's sabotaged by making it easier for you. I know. <laughs> it, it works out. It works out. Alright, Kakuna. Stay in, Clark. <laughs> it does it does a little bit, Star Champ, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Kakuna goes right down as well. Very good. All right, and into into Liz for the Scyther. We may not one shot, but we should do some good damage. At least I hope. Clear. Ooh, but it missed. Very nice. Ooh, yeah, not quite enough to one shot. Ooh, but we get the bird. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And he goes down. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Liz hits level 16, but we gotta get ready to mash that B button. No evolving for you, my friend. Yep. Absolutely, absolutely destroyed Bugsy. As, as, as expected, to be clear. But yeah, feels nice. Feels nice. And there it is. The high badge. Very, very cool. Ba boom! Onto the layout it goes. If you haven't Pokemon up to level 30, will obey you. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this, and that'll be Fury Cutter, which we can actually go ahead and teach to our hair or hair cross. Yeah, uh, Paul. Paul will want Fury Cutter. It's you know it's not the best move, but considering it's like the only bug move we'll have access to, we might as well take it. <laughs> might as well. Uh, on Paul, yep, Paul. Fury Cutter. Oh uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Indoor. We're not gonna use Indoor. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Well, that went uh, that went very very well today. Um, what a what a decent stream. Frankly, I could keep going, but I think I think this is a, a pretty good stopping point. Um, so I think I will go ahead and wrap things up here. Um, but yeah, so good stream, good progress, two gyms, like right off the bat. Uh, the frickin' shiny Hoot Hoot, I'm still reeling over, but, um, <laughs> that was pretty wild. Um, but yeah, I think I will go ahead and get the heck out of here. Um, we will be back, let's see, today is, today is Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday, um, we will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time for some more, uh, Pokemon Silver. Um, off to a very nice, fun little start today, so that was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so I will, um, I will see you guys tomorrow for some more. Uh, hope you had a good time, and I will see you then. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye!